Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a ship with me video. Today is Tuesday, February 8th. The last time that I shipped was on Thursday. And so this is going to be primarily my sales from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So let's go ahead and get into it. I didn't count how many items, but I think it's around 50 or 60 things to ship. So we need to go ahead and get into it. Our first sale was very exciting. These are Chanel espadrilles. They are genuine Chanel. I found these at my family thrift center outlet. I paid $2 for them. They are a lamb skin leather upper. They're size 41. And these were in great shape as far as the leather goes and the espadrille platform goes however the insoles did have some wear the insoles were coming up they were kind of um, just very worn looking but you know that's a pretty easy fix you could just take out the insoles or add some different ones um, so obviously i disclosed everything i also did get these authenticated i used real authentication I have a discount code, I can leave, leave it in the description. That gets you $5 off a, an authentication. If you have a designer item and you're not sure if it's authentic or not, you can use that discount to get $5 off for a $25 authentication fee. So yeah, I did get these authenticated. They came back real, which is very exciting. Um, I almost wasn't expecting them to be just because that's so mind-blowing to have found these for $2. I listed them. They retail for $800. It was, yeah, $800. I listed them for around $350 or I might have listed them at $400. I listed them higher because, or I guess I should say I listed them around what comps were even though they had the flaws regarding the insoles um, because they are a larger size. They're a size 41, which is a little bit harder to find. They ended up selling for $275, which I was definitely happy with. They took about a month to sell. This was the only sale that I didn't write my numbers down for. So yeah, they sold for $275. That made my earnings $220. I did pay $30 for the authentication plus the $2 to purchase them and so my net profit on these came out to $188 which I am beyond thrilled with so I did wrap them separately and then I'm going to put them into this plastic bag here um, I keep these I order them from Amazon for purchases like these where you know the buyer pays like over a hundred dollars basically um, I don't typically like to use plastic because um, I don't I haven't had issues using paper shipping with paper from any of my buyers in the past and so because it's you know more environmentally friendly I do like to typically pack with paper but on the very slim chance of something happening I would not want it to be with this type of sale. So I do wrap items like this in plastic protection. I do have these bags linked down below in the description. Um, I do order them on Amazon. All right, so I'm going to put these into a 1095 box and then I am going to take some of my sealed air bags. I just get these in packages. I reuse them. I essentially just filled up the negative space with the sealed air. So that's how I wrap a pretty expensive sale. Um, and of course, I always double check the label. I have checked this like three times now. So we have that. I am shipping this on Thursday per the buyer's request. So I will put that in a separate spot. Alrighty, so moving on, we have first off this really cool 
jacket. I know a lot of you guys saw this in the thrift haul and really liked it. It is a gorgeous piece. It's It has floral embroidery all throughout. The brand is Paparazzi. It's a size large. This jacket, I mean, it could totally be Johnny Was. It has the same look and feel, the same quality. Um, it's really a gorgeous piece. So I listed this at $85 and several people liked it. And so my posture VA sent out a $76 offer with discounted shipping on it. So if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I am a full-time reseller and I only sell on Poshmark. I do have basically a virtual assistant in the form of a bot. It's a Chrome extension. It's called Posher VA. I will have the link to it down below. And basically I have it set to where anytime someone comes into my Poshmark closet and physically likes a listing, 10 minutes after they have liked it, my bot, Posher VA, will send them out a 10% off offer along with discounted shipping. So I don't have to do anything. I can be working, shopping, whatever. And all the while, Posher VA is pretty much constantly sending out people offers. So you'll see in this Ship With Me video that I had a huge portion of these sales sell that way. So, yeah, so, and you can change it up to be whatever you want. It doesn't have to be 10% off. You can do just 5% off or you can do 20% off if you need to move a lot of inventory. But for me, the bot sent out a $76 offer with discounted shipping, which is 10% less than $85. Someone did accept that offer, which made my earnings $58.34. I paid about $3 for this jacket at the bins just because it is, it does have some weight to it. And so my net profit was $55. So very happy with that. Next up, we have this Maurice's cowl neck, really nice, cozy pullover sweater top. And I don't typically pick up this brand, Maurice's, but this is a plus size, size 3X. It has these really cool knit sleeves, uh, cowl neck, and then this tulip bottom hem. It also has a very soft kind of plush interior. So this has a whole lot going for it. I could not leave this behind, especially with my average cost of goods being around $2. I had to get this. Any type of updated basic like this where you know it's a very cozy soft almost like loungewear type piece with some cute details that is like that has basically like a 100 percent chance of selling um, and also selling very quickly so i do keep my eye out for it i listed this at 25 dollars and once again, someone liked it and my Posture VA sent them a $22 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $15.14. And my total net profit on this top, $13.14. So pretty happy with that. It was something that I just kind of threw into my cart. I knew it would sell. This type of stuff does not take me long to list at all. I do have a link to all of the supplies that I'm using down below. Um, I link the USPS envelopes and boxes that I order. I order everything free from the USPS. Um, it comes straight to your door. And there are certain boxes that I like personally, which again, I do have all listed down below. Okay, next we have a two-piece bundle. First off is this really cute boho open front kimono fringe trim kind of cardigan piece. I 
picked this up at the bins mainly because this kind of stuff sells so quickly for me just like anything that has a boho vibe to it that's in the form of a kimono or open front cardigan i will get even if it you know doesn't have really inf any information to it like this had no brand tag or anything second and last piece in this bundle is this nike size extra large sweatshirt it's a high low sweatshirt and i got this mainly because it was a size extra large and it was in excellent condition it doesn't look like it was really ever worn before it's also seam sealed the bundle price was 49 dollars. so basically when these two items were added together the, the two listing prices for these items were added together that came out to 49 dollars, and someone offered me 32 for the both so I did accept that, which made my earnings $25.60. My earnings are essentially, uh, Poshmark takes 20%, a 20% cut. So my earnings are basically 80% of the sale price. So, and I paid $3 for both items. So my net profit on this bundle was $22.60. I might need to switch this to a box. Oh, no, we're good. Okay, moving on. We have a blouse. This is like a popover top. I had never heard of this brand calligraphy, but once again, this was a size extra large. It's a really cute cut. I love the mustard yellow color. This is a very trendy kind of color. And it also is a linen cotton blend, which is great. It's natural, breathable, sustainable. And a lot of people specifically look for linen and cotton materials. So I listed this blouse for $28. And once again, my Posher BA sent out an offer of $25 with discounted shipping, which was accepted, making my earnings $17.54. I paid two for this. I got it from my family thrift center outlet. And so my net profit was $15.54. I'm thinking I need to either start listing a little bit higher or decrease the percentage that my Posture VA gives a discount on just because I need to kind of account for that added discount. Okay, next, a pair of Sundance shorts. I've actually had these for a long time in my inventory. This was the only item that has ever hung out in my inventory unlisted. Um, when I when I'm thinking that it's listed, I do have a lot of like stragglers everywhere. But I thought these were listed; they were not, and so I pulled them out and got them listed, and they sold pretty quickly. I would say within a month to a month and a half, I listed them at twenty eight dollars. I love selling Sundance. It's a great brand. It's a catalog brand and it's very boho, similar to um, kind of like Johnny was. They do have a lot of embroidered stuff. So yeah, I listed these at $28. My Posture VA sent out a $25 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $17.54 and my net profit $15.54 on these shorts. So yeah, I am not affiliated with Posture VA in any way. They don't pay me to talk about them. I do get a kickback if you guys sign up with them, but I signed up with them all on my own um, and I fell in love with it. So after six months or so of using them, I did start recommending them to you guys. I don't recommend anything that I don't personally love. So I do have a discount code. It's McKenzie20 if y'all want to sign up. I think it gets you 20% off your first month. And again, you, you will see with these sales how effective and 
just how much it really helps out with getting your stuff sold. So this cardigan is by the brand Heartloom. I had heard Jack and Ryan over at Jack Valentine, his YouTube. I had heard them talk about this brand. And so I saw it when I saw it on the thread up outlet, I did go ahead and order it and it sold pretty well. It sold, I would say within um, maybe a month of being listed. I got this because it has this really fun kind of Aztec print to it. It's an open front cardigan. Cardigan sells super well for me. So I definitely would get this brand again. So I listed this cardigan at $35. Once again, my posture VA sent someone out a $31 offer, which is kind of shipping, which was accepted, making my earnings $22.34. I paid $6.64 for this on the thread of outlet. And so, my net profit, I'm gonna have to switch this to a box. My net profit on this was $15.70. So that's a little bit lower than I typically like to make on an item, but this cardigan was delivered straight to my door. So I didn't spend any time or money driving around, doing a ton of shopping. There's a bird like right outside my window. <laughs> I'm sure you guys can hear it, so don't mind that. I'm over at my parents' house. That's where I have my office, and they have so many like interesting birds around here. They have a ton of blue jays um, and red robins. They have some really pretty birds, but unfortunately they are kind of loud sometimes. Okay. Moving on, we have a two-piece skirt bundle. These are both really fun. First is this Vanessa Virginia, which is a sub-brand from Anthropology. It's an iCat printed mini skirt with a smocked waist. This was another pickup from the Thread Up outlet. So I did pay $6.64 for this. I got it because of the really cool print and maxi length skirts and dresses sell great for me. Second piece is this Free People skirt, also really cool. Love the print of this. It has like a shark bite hem, very boho. I picked this one up from my Family Thrift Center outlet for $2.00. And so when added together, the bundle price for the two came out to $80. I got an offer of 55, which I did go ahead and take, making my earnings $44. I paid $8.64 for both. And so my net profit was $35.36 for this bundle. Thread Up actually had that iCat printed skirt on the mannequin as a dress <laughs> and it just looked kind of weird because it's not a dress and so I think that's maybe why it hadn't sold but I just did a little bit of research before I purchased it and I saw that it's actually a skirt. I just typed into Google, when I say I did research, I, that just means that I just typed into Google uh, anthropology iCat printed maxi. I don't think I, I even put like dress or skirt and it just pulled up immediately. Okay, next up we have a three piece bundle. Our first, let me see, how do I wanna package these? Our first piece is this Banana Republic velvet cowl neck top. I picked this up from the bins mainly because it was new with tags and it also is velvet so anything textured sells a little bit better for me also cowl and turtlenecks are a very classic kind of sought after style some people really like like them i think this buyer might because she did purchase two cowl necks <laughs> or yeah that one's a cowl our second piece is this 
pair of L.L. Bean cargo pants. They're a size 12 tall. They're the favorite fit. I got these in a thread up bulk box. It was a hundred pound bulk box. I've sold many, many things from that box and happy to move these as well. So I'll wrap these together. Okay. And then lastly, this 100% cashmere and Taylor dolman sleeve pullover sweater. So again, we have that cowl neck here. And so for this, the buyer bundled the three and I sent them an offer of $55. I didn't give discounted shipping just because I thought that was already a pretty fair offer. They did go ahead and accept that making my earnings $44. I paid $8 for everything. And so my net profit was 36 on this bundle. These are some really nice kind of closet staple pieces. And so, yeah, I hope she enjoys. I will grab my 1095 box here. This is like my larger bundle box. This is for three or so items that are kind of bulky-ish, exactly like this bundle. I also have a 1095 box that's for a little bit smaller bundles. Okay. We have a pearl snap plaid western shirt here. This is Wrangler. This is a little bit of an older piece from Wrangler, which I think makes it even cooler, honestly. I love the colorway to this. It has like a blue and red and yellow kind of palette. And then the pearl snaps are actually pink, which I thought was so cool. Um, this is a women's blouse. I was kind of going back and forth on if it was or wasn't, but it definitely is. And I have been trying to get all of my Western stuff listed because rodeo season is here. If you are listing some Western stuff, I would highly suggest you guys add the keyword rodeo into your title and list and description because people are on the hunt right now for some cute rodeo outfits. So I listed this top at $32. And someone offered me 26 a couple days after listing, which was great. I accepted that. There's nothing that I like more than a fast sale. So yeah, I took the 26 that made my earnings $20 and 80 cents. I paid about a dollar for it at the bend. It's super lightweight. And so my net profit was right around $20. Anything that's West, that's Wrangler, that's a little bit more kind of vintagey, I always take a second to look at it, see what kind of condition it's in, and if it's in good condition, I usually get it. Okay, next we have a five piece bundle. Let me pull this up just to double check everything while I'm packing. Okay, so first off, we have this Eileen Fisher size 2x silk blend sweater really pretty i love the gold and black combo this one had a little bit of like wash wear to it i did disclose that in the listing obviously so we have that and then next we have eileen fisher again this one's a size small and it's new with tags it's a really nice linen striped blouse, like a loose fit to it. Third piece is this UMG 1XL mustard yellow button down top. It's really cute. It has like a frayed hem and kind of a like sun wash to it with a rolled sleeve. Just some really nice, um, casual, nice tops in this bundle. Fourth 
item is the brand on this is buy together which i don't think is anything special i got this based on style i liked the contrasting stripes and the oversized boho kind of style to this i was at the bins and there was a stack of really cute casual tops this was in the stack also the umg top so i just grabbed it all and it's all sold really well our very last piece in this bundle is this pair of Talbot's trousers. They are the Chatham ankle trouser. Super cute. They have buttons at the bottom hem and a plaid print. These are in a size 14 and I got these at regular Goodwill. So I did pay a little bit more. They were the color of the day though. So I think they were only about $5 but that is higher than my typical cost of goods. So yes, that's all five items. When I pack bundles, I line the bottom of the box with a piece of paper and then I line or I add a piece on top and a thank you sticker. So that's kind of how I do that. And so I have an automatic bundle discount in my closet. 15% uh, off three items or more and so when all five of these items were bundled together the price the bundle price including the 15% off discount came out to $146 and someone offered me $120 which I did go ahead and accept that I thought that was pretty fair making my earnings 96. I paid $11 for all five items. And so my net profit was $85 on this bundle. So happy to move those items. I do love selling bundles. Speaking of, we have a six piece here. And let me open it up one more time. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna put the pants in. We have these are they j crew they're the cafe capri pants in a leopard print i ordered these from thread up maybe like nine months ago because leopard is a very classic print people love it and they they're also a linen blend which is great it's our first piece then we have this m by missoni off shoulder blouse. I got this top from ThreadUp's brick and mortar store that they had here in Houston a couple years ago. It was like a dream come true. I love shopping there. This top has sat for a long time. I'm not sure why. It's very pretty. Next we have this good human top. I've been loving selling this brand. It flies out of my closet. It's a graphic sweater that says be kind with a tie-dye print I got this from the bins. Next, we have this J Jill, Pure Jill, size medium. It's like a chambray pullover hoodie top. It's like a tunic length almost, and it has like a faux wrap look or crossover look to it. Last clothing item is yet another item that I ordered from ThreadUp's online outlet. I paid $6.64 for this. I hadn't heard of the brand, but the brand is Acrobat, but it was 100% linen. It had a shark bite hem to it, and it also has like a very subtle dyed look, like almost like a tie dye, but not, um, which I thought was really kind of chic and nice looking. So that's it for clothing. Lastly in this bundle is this belt. It is a genuine calf hair little waist belt. I own this myself and I love it. So when I saw it at the bins, I had to get it. And yes, that is it for this bundle. So I offered $100 for everything. That is a little bit lower than I typically would offer, but like I was saying, the Missoni top has been sitting for a while. Also, those J. Crew Leopard pants, I think I said about nine months ago I ordered those. 
So I did want to move those out. And yeah, I offered 100. That was accepted. I still was very happy with that. <laughs> My earnings were 80. I paid about $15 for everything, and so my net profit was $65 on this bundle. Alrighty, so moving on, yet another bundle here. We have a little two-piece. First off is this adorable little C&C California girls jacket. It's a five, size five in girls. Like I was just saying, a leopard print is, I always gravitate toward towards it when I see it. Um, if this were like a plain black little girl's jacket, I probably would have left it, but because this is just so cute, I had to get it. This took, I would say a couple months to sell. I do actually like selling kids stuff just because um, some people will pay, you know, still good money for it. Brands like Mini Bowden, I mean, they're still so expensive retail, even though it's kid stuff. Um, so Hannah Anderson, Mini Bowden, those are all brands that I do like to pick up in kids. And the last part of this bundle is this two-piece pajama set from Hannah Anderson. This is actually a kid's brand, but they do make women's clothes sometimes, and these pajamas fall into that category. They are a watermelon print short set. So cute. They're 100% organic cotton. I think these were made with matching kids pajamas. So you can like match your child when you're going to sleep, which is kind of cute. So. The bundle of this set and the jacket sold full price for $51, which was very exciting. I got, I think I got, oh, I got the jacket from the bins and then this set I got from my Family Thrift Center outlet. They do charge you per item and so this set was $4. The jacket was probably about a dollar, it's pretty lightweight get my 1095 box once again. So yeah, my earnings were $40.80. I paid about five for everything. And so my net profit came out to $35.80 on the bundle. So super happy with that. I think that kids jacket, the CNC California leopard jacket, retailed for like $60. So definitely don't overlook stuff just because it's kids. Some stuff can still sell really well. Lots of people have children and all children need clothing. Okay, next we have this dress. The buyer for this dress also asked me to ship on Thursday, so I need to remember that. This is skies are blue size 3x. It's like an off shoulder elastic uh, dress with some embroidered medallions on the front. It's in this really nice kind of gauzy cotton material. And this was only listed for a day or two before it sold full price once again for $32, which was awesome. That made my earnings $25.60. I paid $2 for it, and so my net profit was $23.60. So super happy with that. I knew this would do pretty well being plus size and adorable. I don't know if Skies Are Blue is a Stitch Fix exclusive brand or if it's sold, out, sold elsewhere. If you guys know, feel free to let me know. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter too much either way, but I'm always kind of interested in that stuff. I know Market and Spruce was a Stitch Fix exclusive brand, and that brand sold so well for me for a while. I would say the buzz has definitely died down a little bit, but it used to be like one of my favorite brands to sell. I need to try it out again. I actually haven't found it in a long time. 
Okay, next, another bundle. We have a three piece here. I'm going to wrap this separately and then the other two together. So this is a 100% wool table runner. It has a fringe trim, southwestern print. This is like the coolest thing ever. I was just kind of rummaging through the bins as you do. If you've ever been to that store, you are basically just digging through these huge bins for treasure, essentially, things like this. And I saw the Southwestern print, immediately threw it into my car. I didn't even look to see what it was. And then later on when I was sorting, um, I saw that it was a table runner and that it was in excellent condition and was also really high quality because it was hand woven in Mexico um, with 100% wool. So this was a no brainer pickup and I probably only paid a couple dollars for it. I bet it retailed, I don't really know. I would guess around a hundred just because it is just very, very nice. And this was also an extremely popular piece from my thrift haul. I featured it in a thrift haul and several people um, were sad that they missed it. I had some DMs. And so if you see stuff like this, anything Southwestern print, I always, pretty much always get if it's, you know, a cool item in any kind of way. So we have this. And then lastly, last two pieces, this Torrid open front cardigan. It has a crochet knit with the floral design. It's a size 2X, 100% cotton. I love finding stuff like this. I really like boho stuff because I mean it just has always sold great for me. But then when you add in the factor of it being plus size and you know cotton, a natural nice material, you get you know lots of kind of sellable factors to it. Lastly is this patchwork leopard print scarf with a fringe trim so cute. I did also find this at the bins and I just kind of immediately fell in love. It's really soft and just a nice feeling material. So let's see. So yeah, when added together, the bundle price with the 15% off discount came out to $102 and the buyer sent me an offer of 92. I thought that was super fair, so I did accept making my earnings $73.60. I paid $5 for everything, and so my net profit was $68.50, 60 cents on this bundle. This is a really cool kind of bundle. This is like my kind of style. I do love everything. I guess I'm biased though because I did source everything to sell. So next we have these J. Crew pants. They're like a green color, army green color. And these are the Slim Boyfriend Chino pants. I got these mainly because they were a very recent item. I think they came out in like, they were made in 2021, I'm pretty sure. I got them from the bins. However, when I got home, I saw that they did have a few flaws to like the upper butt area. It's like a, just a few like nicks in the fabric, nothing major. But I did disclose that obviously and list a little bit lower because of it. So I only listed these for 18. I probably would have listed them around 28 without the flaws. So I listed them at 18. Someone liked them. My Posture VA sent them out a $16 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted, making my earnings $10.34 and my net profit about $9.34. So, making $9 profit on a flawed item, I'm still super happy with. Um, I used to just kind of 
put it into a stack and then donate it but i think it's way better to recoup your investment and make a little bit of profit a lot of people really don't care about small flaws okay next we have a three-piece bundle first off is this pair of jeans speaking of flaws these had a very small spot in front they are pack sun like mom style jeans they have embroidered daisies and a light wash super cute i didn't notice the flaw on these at the store um, and once again i did list those a little bit lower second item is this j crew mercantile it's like a camel colored sleeveless turtleneck top this this style of sweater is great for transitional weather because you know you have the warmth from the turtleneck and the wool blend but definitely have some ventilation going on with the with no sleeves it's super cute to layer with like i would wear a button down white long sleeve underneath and then the turtleneck on top so third and final item in this bundle is this Anthropology Maeve dress. Really pretty. It's like a jagged, or I guess it's a handkerchief hemline. It's a wrap dress. I believe it's a true wrap dress, which true wrap dresses sell for sure better for me than like a faux wrap or like a crossover kind of front dress so for these three pieces the buyer bundled them and i sent her an offer of 65 dollars with discounted shipping which she did accept making my earnings 49 dollars and 54 cents i paid about eight dollars for everything i did buy this anthropology dress from regular goodwill so it was a little more expensive and the other, the J. Crew turtleneck and the Paxson jeans were both outlet finds. So yeah, I paid $8 for everything and my net profit was $41.54 on this bundle. Okay, two dresses. First off is Talbot's. This one I got from the bins because it was a size large and it's pure merino wool so the fabric the size the style i did like the kind of neutral color blocking two-tone uh, effect it has going on it also is in excellent condition so you have that and then lastly this anthropology vanessa virginia super boho dress so cute with this beading and embroidery detail all along the front region it's a size large i got this dress from my regular goodwill so i paid yeah i paid eight dollars for this dress but when you average the two together i paid eight dollars for the anthro dress and then about two dollars for the talbot's dress from the bin so when you average that together i only paid five dollars for each which is why I love shopping at the bins because it really does bring down your cost of goods across the board. So the bundle price for these two was $88 and I got an offer for 50. I did counter that to 65 mainly because I just listed that anthro dress and it was countered to 55 which I went ahead and accepted. I probably should have stayed firm at the 65 just because these are both really nice pieces but that's okay. I moved some stuff quickly and I still had a net profit of $34. That's fine by me. I think in the next couple weeks with my listing I am going to have to list a little bit higher just because you know I do have Posture VA sending out so many offers and you know you do want to account for your time and energy spent you also have to take that into account okay next up 
we have a two-piece bundle here first off is this Beatles graphic t-shirt super cute this is a no-brainer pickup for me band t-shirts sell great even if they're just like reproductions like this one it's like a burnout thin top second and last is this pair of American Eagle shorts they are the newer tag from American Eagle and they are the mom short with distressing. So I knew these would do pretty well. That's a very popular style. The bundle price for these two came out to $56 and the buyer offered me 43, which I went ahead and accepted. That made my earnings $34 and 40 cents. I paid $3 for both pieces. And so my net profit was $31 and 40 cents. Okay, next we have a Free People top here, super slouchy. I've actually sold this in the past um, and I sold it again now. So this is a twist back, it's like an open twist back. Shark bite hem, all frayed, exposed seams and edges. Uh, really just slouchy, oversized top I personally love these kind of pieces in my own wardrobe I just throw them on with leggings and a cardigan to layer with they even look really cute with like scarves and I listed this top at $35 someone liked it and again my posture VA sent them out a $31 offer with discounted shipping which was accepted that made my earnings $22.34 and my net profit, $20.34. Okay, a few more and then we're gonna have to run down to the post office. Next, this Ann Taylor Loft Lounge dress. It's new with tags. It retailed for $60. This is a great bins pickup because athleisure or loungewear kind of stuff sells phenomenally for me. This was fleece lined, so soft. It's also a size large and new attack. So I mean, you can't really get better than that. I listed this also at 35, same kind of thing. My posture VA sent out an offer, $31 with just kind of shipping. That was accepted. And so my net profit on this dress was $21.34. So I hope the buyer enjoys this. Such a cozy, nice piece. I mean, you could lounge in this at home. You could sleep in it. You could wear, you know, run errands in it. Very versatile. It also looks super cute with just like a denim jacket over top if you wanna dress it up just a little bit. Johnny was my favorite brand to sell. JW Los Angeles is what the tag says. This is a size small. It's a 100% linen embroidered trim poncho blouse top. This thing is gorgeous. This was yet another bins find, if you can believe it or not. I just kind of spotted it in the bin when someone was throwing some clothes around, ran over to it, pulled it out and pretty much made my whole day. So I listed this for $125. Someone liked it. My posture VA sent them a $112 offer with this kind of shipping, which they did counter to a hundred. So it doesn't always, you know, the offer that they send out doesn't always result in a sale, but Sometimes, you know, it just opens up that negotiation window and it encourages buyers to make an offer that they're comfortable with. Um, it shows them that I am open to offers. I'm open to negotiate. So yeah, they counter to 100. I did accept that. I have had this for a couple months now, so I was excited to get that $100 offer. That made my earnings $80. I paid about three for it just because it's a little bit heavier. So my net profit was $77 on that piece. Okay, I think our, our last piece before I run down to the post office is this 
Carolina Herrera jacket. This is a designer piece, gorgeous jacket. It's tweed, it's like blue and tan. It's almost like a herringbone print within the tweed and then little bows on the pockets. It's a size eight. This is so pretty. I'd never found this brand before. It's 80% wool and then like polyamide and acetate has shoulder pads. This was yet another bins find, believe it or not. Not the same pins location. It was different and um, it was on a Sunday. It was a weekend. I never usually shop on the weekends, but this day I did and I got lucky. I have had this jacket, I would say maybe about nine months now, which I was kind of surprised about just because it is such a gorgeous piece. I forget what I originally listed it for, probably around 200, but it has been price dropped a couple times. So its current list price was $112 when I got an offer over the weekend for 80. I did go ahead and accept that just because I haven't had any other offers on it. I was ready to move it. And that was still a great return on my investment. I paid $2 for this at the bins and my net profit came out to $62 on this jacket. So I'm pretty happy with that. I get to move it before springtime rolls around and you know, the weather warms up. I didn't want to have it for another, you know, through the next warm season. Okay, I'm going to pack these up and run down to the post office and then I will be back to finish up. All right guys, so it's actually the next day. I ended up going sourcing yesterday after I dropped off at the post office and I'm back over here at my office to finish up shipping today. I don't have any makeup on and so I'm not going to be showing my face for the end of this video, but I did want to just quickly finish out my sales with you guys. So I had this two-piece bundle from Eloqui. These are both Eloqui dresses. This one's a really pretty rust color. It's a wrap dress. And then this one is a floral print maxi as well with a little tie front. Very cute. These sold in a bundle for $60. That made my earnings $48. I paid two for each, so I paid obviously four for both, and my net profit was $44 on those. Next up, we have this 11-1 Tylo dress, which this is a sub-brand from Anthropology. I ordered this from the ThreadUp outlet, I would say about a year ago, so it took a while to sell, and it only ended up selling for $15 with discounted shipping, and so my total net profit on this was only about $3.50, but you know, you win some, you lose some, happy to just go ahead and get that moved out. Next up, we have these Citizens of Humanity shorts. I grabbed these from the bins. They're really cute. They're a longer length, which some people specifically look for. And these were a full price sale, $31, which was great. My earnings were $24.80. I paid a couple dollars for these. And so my net profit was $22.80. Next up, we have this pair of pleated wide leg cropped pants by the brand Uniqlo and I got these also from the bins. They're just a really nice kind of pull on style pant. They're very comfy but also casual and stylish. So I listed these for 28. Someone liked them on Poshmark. My Posher VA sent them out a $25 offer with discounted shipping. That was accepted and my net profit on these pants was about $15.50. Our very last sale to discuss in this video is this bundle of three tops. They're all size 2X. These first two are by the brand Logo by Lori Goldstein, which is definitely a solid bread and butter brand for me. Here is the tag. And then third and last piece in this bundle is a soft surroundings, long line tunic, hot pink, 
button down top with pockets very cute and this bundle sold by offer of $71 making my earnings $56.80 I paid six for all three pieces two dollars a piece so my net profit was right around fifty dollars on this bundle so that is absolutely everything for this ship with me video thank you guys so much for watching sorry this ending is very awkward and strange i will be back to my normal format with my next ship with me video but again thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and i'll see y'all soon bye guys